what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your 14th tutorial I guess for angular 2 and in this tutorial using the click event will create a simple application for this movie shop kind of application so so far in the last tutorial we have just applied a ng4 directive to display a bunch of movies right here as you can see and again we can extend this application a little bit by attaching a click event to each of these li's and we should probably just change this to li only because that kind of provides a bit of styles by the browser itself so now we could probably get rid of this index as well and you will here we go so <clears throat> What I can do is I can just actually add a click event and remember to add a click event we have to write this inside a parenthesis and this simply means that we are just expecting a input from the user so right here I'm just gonna write my event or the function name which should fire off and in this case that would be let's just say selected movie and down here if I just create a function selected movie uh, let's just simply alert a movie was selected so if I just take a look in the browser and just click on any of these movies you can see that we get a movie was selected as an alert but that's not very much useful so what we can do is we can just actually get the name of the movie as well so to do that again as you can see that we already have this temporary variable right here for our setting so as to get some information out of it so I can just simply pass this movie variable inside the selected movie so now we have another access to it. another parameter right here in this function and what I can do is I can just simply say that alert um, movie was added to cart or something like that so I can just reload and click here so it says Batman vs Superman was added to cart Civil War was added to cart so technically you won't do that on a live application to your movie names but instead what you would do is that you would have a simple plus button here which just says add to cart this movie and then that might this thing might be useful so again once we are done with this you can actually just display a movie list here so we can just say uh, uh, selected or we can just say recently added movie and that is my recent movie and I can just initialize this variable recent movie R E C E N T movie as none and inside this what I can do is I can write this recent movie as movie and again you can just sort of display a cart here so all movies and again or cart here and again you can make use of this you will right here and I can just say that item of cart and just get rid of this click and I can just display an item right here and I hope that you're getting what I'm doing because in a moment we'll just see what this output has and what I can do is I can again add a public cart as this one and I can probably say right here as cart dot push movie like that so if I just take a look in the browser again so we have a recently added movie as none and card as blank so if I click here all right we get recent movie is not defined all right so I guess we can get rid of this error by making use of this and this now we need to make use of this because inside this function we don't know what this recent movie is so we just want this function to make use of this recent movie of this same class so we make use of this right here so yeah so seems cool right now 
So if I just take a look in the browser, we still get recent added movie as none and car as blank. So if I just click on Civil War, we get Civil War was added to car. Alright, so we get a Civil War item right here. Then if I click on Batman vs Superman, it was added to car again. And if I click on Deadpool, it was added to car again. So a homework for you could be like, if I just click on Deadpool again, you can see that it was automatically added to cart. So what you can do is instead of just adding this two times, you can just check for whether Deadpool has been added or not and just increment it right here and just write a cross two here or cross three or a simple one. You can just, you know, disallow adding of a movie twice or more than two times. So that's how you pretty much create a simple application using the click combined and this selected movie function basically and just you know you get the idea. So that's how you pretty much create a simple application which has a cart and some items to add and that's all for this tutorial. So if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.